Hey y'all, Nick Delgado here with this round of At The Bar with IWS's Jess. Hey Jess. Hi Nick. So it looks like we got a lot of things going on here. We have our lemons, our oranges, our apples, our wine, and of course, our brandies. So today's segment's all are gonna be about Fundador. Let's have fun with Fundador. Of course. Um, usually when we come in this segment, it, we go on and we teach people how to make cocktails. And really a lot of these are just nice, easy cocktails you guys can do at home. Mm -hmm. So today, you're gonna be our bartender. I'll be making you'll this. Be, you'll be making it. So the first one we're gonna do is actually, a lot of times when people take brandies, they do it um, with ice and cola. Mm -hmm. And that's usually the most traditional, or they drink it over the rocks. Um, we sell a lot of Fundador throughout the island. So today we're gonna teach you how to make some of the classic cocktails Cocktails. Um, one of the first cocktails we're gonna have you make today is mm. a brandy sour. Okay. So everyone knows what a whiskey sour is. Um, we're gonna take the same thing, the same way you make it, but we're gonna put Fundador brandy. Take it up another notch. Yeah, take it up another notch. So first thing you're gonna do is grab your shaker. You okay. have ice in it already. already. Have ice in it. Okay. That's what we did earlier. <laughs> ice already in there. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add one ounce of Fundador brandy. Okay. Okay. So just fill it up to here. Pour it in. Up to one ounce. Yeah, one ounce. And then of course, we brought this out before, it's a bartender's best friend, home bartender's best friend, it's called Sweet and Sour. Um, so we're gonna actually add some of that Sweet and Sour. I love this drink because it's so citrusy. Okay. I love citric, citrusy type cocktails. So this is one of my favorites. And, um, and like I said, it's so easy, it's one ounce to three. Okay. So all you do is add three of this, go ahead, okay. and add that in there. Put me to work. Put you to work, add that in. And this is always nice because it's already made, it's already there, but I always like adding some type of freshness. Mm -hmm. So we have some fresh lemons here. So we're just gonna do a squeeze of that in there. A squeeze of lemon. A squeeze of lemon. Perfect. It's okay if you have the seed yeah. in there and everything. Dump it in. Just throw it in. Throw it in. Get, get the lemon right. It. And then go ahead and take that, put it on, and give it a nice hard shake. First time. First time. There we go. The party in your glass out right there. <laughs> it really is a party going on. Okay, and then once and you so have it for a how long do you have to do this? Just, just, just shake get it up real nice, quick? Just get a nice, nice, okay. nice hard shake. Go ahead and take it off. Okay, you're just gonna have to pound the side a little. Right here? <laughs> right here. Just a little trick right here. Oh, and look that's at it. that, I learned something. And then you just take your strainer and then just pour it in. All right. There we go. And right there, there's your brandy sour. And that's good. Looks and good. we'll go ahead and add a little lemon wheel to that. Add it, and there you go. There's Cheers. Your Brandy sour. Smell Smells that. good. I made this. Right? Try it. Yeah. What do you think? Not bad. Right? Very nice. You can hear the smell that Not aromas bad for a of first citrus. Timer. <laughs> yeah. But it smells good to me, so I bet it's awesome. Real easy to make though for yeah. anyone at home. So that's easy. Like I said, it's your brandy sour, very easy, two ingredients. Your finest call sweet and sour, your um fundador, mm -hmm. three to one, add some lemon. Shake it up hard, pour it over glass, garnish it, and you're good to go. Simple. So the next thing we're gonna do is everyone loves having parties. And one of the coolest things when you have parties is to make sangrias. Yeah. Have you ever made a sangria? It's fun. Okay, sangrias are fun. So let's have fun with Fundador. We're gonna do our next one is going to be a sangria. So you're gonna grab your pitcher. We're pitcher. gonna have some friends over, invite them over to your house, have a nice party. Um, okay. And sangrias are fun, they're very versatile, but you can add whatever you want to it as long as it's to your taste. We're gonna go with really the basics. So the good thing is we have cut up fruits here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add up a couple fruits, okay? Some apples, let's just throw, throw it in. Let's add some oranges, give more citrus taste to it. And can we pick and choose when it comes to the type of fruits we want? Yeah, on yeah, definitely. I'm gonna just add some lemons, nice fresh squeeze. And then I'm gonna have you muddle it up a little just to get some fruit flavors out. Okay. Okay. So this is a lot of fruits, but I love a lot of fruits. So Very like nice. I said, take it this way and then just go ahead and muddle it up. Yeah, just a little bit, get a little bit more of that fresh fruits coming out. And then all we're gonna do after that is actually now we're gonna use it with Fundador Light. Okay. So this is actually new to Guam. We actually had Fundador for the last couple years um, on Guam, but now Light just came in maybe less than six months ago. What's the difference with the, with the two? It's really the alcohol percent. So this okay. one runs at 28% where this one runs around 34% alcohol. Mm -hmm. So this one, all we're gonna do is, okay, you're gonna add this, you're gonna do four ounces. So four. top it up three and then do another one of one. Okay. And I love sangrias, I love it. It's so refreshing, it's fun to make. It's fruits, it's brandy, it's wine, it's seven up, it's a party in this pitcher. So it's gonna be really, really fun. And like I said, if you want more of different things, add it up. Okay. Um, if you want a bit more citrusy, add more lemon. So after that, what we're gonna do. More Fundador? Yeah. <laughs> Or add more Fundador. <laughs> and then now we're gonna take your wine. So we have this, we have a Behringer um, Cabernet. All right. And go ahead and just pour it in. The entire thing? Yeah, go for it. Okay. 
Oh, you hear all that mixing right? going on there. I love the See, sound that it makes. See, and the good thing is, you make a one big cocktail. Everyone can come up, add ice to their glass, enjoy it, and then we're gonna top it off. Let's go with two um, things of Seven Up. Okay. I like um, more of that citrus. So if you if you don't really care for the more carbonation of citrus, go with one. If you like um, two, then add two. Um, but really, it comes down to your liking. But the real basics here is in here. It's your wine, your fruits. Um, we added brandy. It adds it uh, gives a little bit nice more mix. The great thing about wines and brandies is it actually comes from the same thing. Okay. Um, brandy is actually from grapes and wines from grapes. I think the only difference is really the process. So um, this one goes through a distillation process where that goes through a fermentation process. So the great thing is this is a full punch of grapes and fruits and juices and lemons and very nice fresh fruits. Oh my gosh, do you smell that? I do. Okay, <laughs> so you can add water, I mean, um, you ice. can add ice to it. Um, some people prefer not to just so it doesn't get diluted. Okay. So we'll just mix it up a little bit and then go ahead and add um, more ice to top off our glasses. Oh my gosh. That smells good. Yeah, right? you can hear all the, the you fizziness. You can hear all the fizziness. You have all the fruits. Top it off. That's good. And okay. then go ahead and grab another glass. And we're just going to add on a couple. Add some fruits in there. And then if you want more fruit, you can add more of that. And then that's it. Okay, I'm going to give you some fruits too. But like I said, I mean, take whatever fruit you have in your fridge, add it up. And right there, there's yeah, our sangria. Yeah, it's still that color that everyone is right? familiar with when they hear the name sangria, so right? it's great. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. that's a good sangria. Good job. So, Thank like you. I said, this is simple, easy cocktails, things you can do at home. Really fun things when you're yeah. having a party or you're just having some friends over. Get some of these, make a pitcher of sangria, make some whiskey sours or brandy sours, and enjoy, and let's have fun with Fundador. Yeah, definitely very easy. First-timer here, and a great coach. Thank you so much well, for that. Well, thanks. Cheers. Cheers.